What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. Today, we got 25 PC mods in testing, 17 console mods in testing. Out of all those, 14 were released today. We've got a new custom modding 7R, plus three new fact sheets for the class DLC. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have added realism for vehicles. Agrimat TE4100, the Anaburger HTS3416, by Brosty, a modded version of the class Torian. Durafrant Subsoiler Foldable, LOV Twin 600, Euro Tunnel Pack, Farming Legend, Goma Manure Tank, the IMT 5360, Lime to Manure Spreader, the Lizard Rumbler Van, New Bartle Shotgun 4 Fack, NMC 320H Pro Snowblower, Pack Dan Greville, Placeable Salt Station, Ransom's Trailer, the Satex 5M, The Beast, an update to the Old Farm Countryside, a new map, This Is Ireland, the UN 053 Wheel Loader, Uniacost 3S, and the ZMadge Viper 7. In testing for console, we have the Agrimass BMSP, Bell Trailers, Case IH Corn Cutter, Flegal Trailer Pack, John Deere 1070D Eco 3 out now, John Deere 959 Ilm Feller Buncher, the Gavernlum Terrap TA753C, an update for Limpiki, Lizard 500S, Meadow Roller Pack, released today was the New Style Farmhouse, we've got an update to New Woodshire, also an update to Presmazawa, Small Square Bell Auto Load, and all of which were released today the Vicon PS 1004-1654, Vogel and New Teradisc 600, and the XT2. With all that being said, we still have 204 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 19 work days. It is Friday, which means it's Fact Sheet Friday. We have three new fact sheets for you today for the Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Edition featuring class. First up is the Class Torian 639. This is a front loader. Will cost you $64,500, has 68 horsepower, will hold 50 liters of fuel, will go 20 kilometers or 12 miles per hour, and you can change up the wheel setup from standard to front twin wheels. Next up, we have the Class Scorpion 1033. This is a tail handler, will cost you $96,000, has 136 horsepower, will hold 150 liters of fuel, will go 40 kilometers or 24 miles per hour and you can change up the wheel brand and wheel setup from Trailerborg to Nokian and from standard to wide tires to communal. And it has the adjustable steering mode just like every telehandler in the game. And lastly, today we have the Class Torian 956 Sinus. This is a wheel loader, will cost you $114,500. Has 106 horsepower, so not crazy amount of horsepower for a wheel loader. We'll hold 155 liters of fuel. We'll go 40 kilometers or 24 miles per hour. You can change up the wheel brand and the wheel setup from Trailerborg to Midas to Nokian. And those are going to be standards, front twin wheels, and communal. Custom Modding have released their new John Deere 7R mod to PC players on their Facebook page. This mod will come to consoles at a later date once Giants have tested and passed it. Since we're on PC, Let's check it out. So this is going to be in large tractors and you're going to bump over until you see it. Now this will have a custom modding logo on it. So it's going to stand out. There it is. The 7R series, $238,000. Let's click on that. So we have a lot of configurations and a lot of customization to choose from here. First things first is the front configurations. So we have a weight holder, 300, 500, 700, and 1100 kilogram front weights. We also have a front three point hitch or front three point link. This is great. I love it. I, I like the American style stuff, but I love being able to have that front three point link. Wheel brands, we have Firestone. Firestones will not be coming to console, however, but the rest will. Michelin's, Goodyear's, well, Michelin's and Goodyear's, there it is. So in Firestone, if you guys are playing on PC, so we have the 30 inch, we have the 30 inch with weights, we have the 30 inch rear duels, 30 inch rear duels with weights, 30 inch duels all around, and 30 inch duels with the weights on the back, and then back to the beginning again. In Michelin, we have the 30 inch normals with weights in the back, duels in the back, duels plus weights in the back, duels all around, and duels with weights in the back all around. And in Goodyear, we've got big and with weights. <laughs> <laughs> these things are huge. I love it. I want one of these right now. 
Over in engine configuration, we have quite a few of these. We have a 245 horsepower version. That's the 7210. We've got a 7230, which it looks like the logos are a little blurry. It's okay. 7230 with 269 horsepower. 7250 with 290 horsepower. 7270 with 305 horsepower. 7290R with 332 horsepower. And the 7310 with 350. And 52 horsepower. Those are your engine configurations. Front fender, we could do yes or no. Back fender, the same way. These are basically the extra wheel arches right there. Boom, I think it looks good with both of them. Starfire 600 receiver, yes or no. We have the Gen 4 extended monitor, which is on the inside, yes or no. The 100 year celebration decal, it's gonna be right there. It's real small, but there it is. Farm logo, you can do a yes or a no. That's the custom modding logo right there. We also have the beacon front left, yes or no. Beacon front right, yes or no. Protection grid, yes or no. Numbers, we can do one all the way up through 25, which is pretty crazy. And that right there is your customization for the 7R. If you are on PC and would like to download it for yourself, make sure you check the link in the description for the official download link. And if you're going to share this mod with anyone or on any page, make sure to use this link only. I will also be linking Custom Modding's Facebook page. You go and check them out there. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Remember, there are links to everything we talked about today in the description, so make sure you read that. Check everything out that we talked about today. All right, that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!